guys, it's Mayu. Welcome back to my vlog. This time I'm friend and I flew from Madrid to Barcelona. You can take trains, but this was much faster. We took an Uber from the airport to the hotel. This is the hotel lounge. How cute! The room is nice and clean, although there's a building right next to the hotel, so the view isn't great. The main street is just a few minutes from the hotel. So um, I am now walking from the hotel to Casa Mira because I booked a self-guided tour at 5.30 and it's like a 14 minute walk. As I am walking through the city of Barcelona, I see a lot of tourists from all around the world and I almost forgot about COVID-19. All the buildings look very traditional and well kept. This street is called Passage de Gracia, which is like Ginza in Japan for luxury shopping. I entered Loewe, I guess for the first time in my life and it was so pretty that I was close to buying a bag. The first house I visited of Antoni Gaudi's work is Casa Mira. I love how it looks from here, the color, the asymmetrical architecture, the leaf-like roofs and everything. You go on the elevator to start from the rooftop. Oh, and they have a Japanese audio guide. There's a great view and spectacular architecture. And then you go downstairs to continue the tour. This house was the last private residence designed by architect Antoni Gaudi and was built between 1906 and 1912. I can't believe people used to live here. I reunited with Claudia. Um, we've, we were in the volunteer in Estonia uh, in 2015, so it's been seven years. <laughs> but we finally met. <laughs> um, this place is called Les, Les Quintanis, which means the 15 night in Catalan. Oh, okay. Oh, in Catalan. So the language is kind of a little bit different. From yeah, from Spanish. Spanish. We'll have dinner and yeah. Nice to meet you guys. Yes. <laughs> Aros Negro is all about. Oh my god, like it's so amazing, like it's so tasty. It's incredible. It's incredible, right? It's like this is day two in Barcelona. I'm going to Claudera Musica. This is a concert hall designed in the Catalan modernist style. The concert hall of the palace, which seats about 2,200 people, is the only auditorium in Europe that is illuminated during daylight hours entirely by natural light. I love the stained glass skylight on the ceiling. I have never seen something like this. If you have time at night, you should see the concert. I would love to hear live music in this atmosphere. After the auditorium, I decided to take the metro to go to El Parc Güell. You can either pay with cash or credit card. You still have to wear a mask on public transportation. This park is composed of gardens and architectural elements located on Carmel Hill. The design of the park was assigned to Antoni Gaudi, again, a renowned architect and the face of Catalan modernism. You can enjoy walking around this huge park, looking at the details of the buildings and art, and just sitting around. Parkwell is the reflection of Gaudi's artistic plentitude, which belongs to his naturalist phase. During this period, the architect perfected his personal style through inspiration from organic shapes. You can see that in every architecture here, from the outside and also from the inside. I enjoy looking at his creativity and imagination. And yes, this place was literally packed with tourists. I was able to go inside of the Hansel and Gretel's house after standing in line for about 40 minutes. 
Then I kept exploring other parts of the park. Make sure you have water with you, especially during summer, because it was burning hot and you can get dehydrated easily. Now I am walking to the station. Oh, a lot of walking today. Since I am super tired now, I am going to the restaurant called Vinitas that my follower recommended. I only ordered tapas, which are small Spanish savory dishes. It was a really good lunch. Um, after every meal, I get sleepy, so I decided to walk to Sagrado Familia, uh, which is like 30 minutes from here. If you ever come to Barcelona, I recommend walking to places because everything is within walking distance. Finally, this is the well-known Sagrada Familia, designed by, again, Antoni Gaudi. As you can see, it is still under construction. The construction started in 1882. When Gaudi passed away, only less than a quarter of the project was complete. They say it will be finished in 2026, but who knows. Anyway, I am very glad that I finally get to see this church with my own eyes. I love the structure and also the stained glasses with the sunlight coming in. So beautiful. Then I went up to the tower on the Nativity facade, which is decorated with scenes reminiscent of elements of life. You can learn about the history of Sagrada Familia and I bought some things from a souvenir shop. Afterwards, I went to Ben and Jerry's to get some ice cream, which was a great idea. Next up is the former hospital. Mm. It's a busy day at the hospital. So now I'm at the Hospital de la Santa Creo, and this is for the uh, when you enter to stick this and there's actually a Japanese guide which is amazing this place is composed of 12 pavilions connected through long underground galleries within its large green space I can't believe it was a fully functioning hospital until 2009. As I was walking back to the hotel, there was a parade for the Pride Month. My friend and I decided to walk to Baraka, where we are having dinner next to the Mediterranean Sea. It was around 8 p.m. but it was still bright and we could see the beautiful sunset. So, this is my first and probably the last paella um, in Spain. This is day three and the last day in Barcelona. I'm going to Casa Batil, um because I was supposed to go yesterday. It wasn't my plan, but then I was really tired and I came back to the hotel. So yeah, I'm gonna do that in the morning before flying back. This house is also one of the masterpieces of Gaudi. It is locally called the House of Bones as it has a visceral, skeletal, organic quality. I booked the audio guide, but there is also a virtual reality tablet as an option. You can go to the balcony. This is really cool so you can see the footsteps. I like the colors of this house because my favorite color is sky blue. This space felt very similar to Team Love, very technological. The rooftop is a bar. If you come at night, I hear the view is amazing. Mm -hmm. 
This, the last thing I saw, is probably one of my favorites in Barcelona. I loved this experience. This is the end of this vlog. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.